So the topic for the today's webinar is components of multi bagger stock. So before we start with the today's webinar, there is a disclaimer slide which says that the, all the examples which we are using today is should not be considered as our recommendation and it is only intended for educational purposes. So as we all know and we have been mentioning in our market commentaries that the market right now is in confirmed uptrend and this is the best time to buy the stock. So since we last met, the uh, Sensex has uh, gained almost uh, 2% and the Nifty increased by almost 1% over the last two weeks. Mid cap and small cap indices outperformed the bench uh, frontline indices and if, in fact small cap, uh, Nifty small cap went on to hit new all time highs. We have added one stock and removed two stocks from our model portfolio since we last met. So this is the this is in short is the summary of what we will be covering in today's webinar. So the first thing which we will cover is what to buy versus when to buy. Uh, then we'll be talking about the factors which we should check while when we are shortlisting the stock and keeping it in our watch list. So basically while choosing the stock there are a lot of factors which we should actually uh, check and that is what we will discuss today. Uh, then we will talk about the winning combination. The actual combination which we which you used to which you have which you should normally check that is the exceptional earnings and the sales growth. Uh, basically we will cover the C and A of the cancelling today. Then we'll talk about the traditional PE ratios, like uh, uh, how important is PE ratios when it comes to buying and when it comes to buying and uh, why uh, we don't why we don't give much importance to PE ratios in our cancelling methodology. And at last, we'll talk about how to find the stock using the earnings and sales growth using the MarketSmith India app. How you can use our MarketSmith India app and uh, shortlist some few good quality stocks which are meeting the cancelling criteria and uh, invest in those stocks and be a part of the uh, be a part of the big runners. So uh, in today's webinar and the, uh, and the next two webinars uh, which we will be covering over the next uh, um, uh, over the next month or so, we'll talk about the common traits which the winning stocks have. We have uh, in our past webinars also we have always mentioned the fact that uh, all the big runners repeat their history. So that is why we emphasize on the fact that uh, chart patterns uh, chart repeats itself and it, uh, all the stocks which the history repeats and the patterns are actually repeated. Uh, I would request everyone to please turn off their videos. It's distracting the other participants. Okay, so uh, in the uh, yeah, so and uh, after uh, after we complete this webinar, it's highly recommended that recommended that you go through the uh, webinars, the first four webinars which we did because in those webinars we have covered some important aspects which you should remember while uh, sh shortlisting the stocks based on cancelling methodology. So yeah, so exactly what to buy and when to buy. So what we will be buying is will be we all, all, all of us want to buy the big winning stocks before they make their biggest move. Every no one wants to uh, identify the stock when it has moved 20-25% from its buy point from its pivot range. So today we will uh, discuss how we can identify those stocks right near the pivot point when the stocks are breaking out of sound base patterns. Uh, the, we'll, uh, we'll discuss how we can identify those stocks at that point of time. And we all know when to buy the stocks. The best time to buy the stock is confirmed uptrend. Like two weeks back, we changed the market status to confirmed uptrend, and that is uh, currently it is the best time to buy the stocks. And again, uh, during confirmed uptrend, the proper time to buy any stock is when the stock breaks out from the sound base patterns. 
so the cancellum teaches you what to buy and the m factor in the cancellum the basically the m factor uh, tells us when to buy that is it uh, gives us the market direction like confirmed uptrend right now so presently it is the best time to buy the uh, buy any stock so normally people so normally people often get confused reading uh, traditional ways of investing reading all the finance textbook some people say that fundamentals you just can't uh, make super normal profits using technical analysis someone says that uh, someone is a pure fundamental guy so the idea is neither fundamental analysis alone or the technical analysis alone can help you in identifying the multi baggers the idea the the secret mix is 20 to 30% of technicals and 70 to 80% of the fundamentals so ideally the idea the idea is buy on fundamentals and sell on technicals so that is why your stock the so the so the stock which you are shortlisting you should not ignore technicals altogether because technicals comprises of 20 to 30 percent of the of the growth of the stock so technical analysis is also very important so the step one is look for stocks with outstanding fundamentals and with fundamentals we mean big earning sales growth and uh, high return on equity high return on equity and the second step is the chart price and volume patterns that is normally the technical analysis which we talk about like we will be checking the where, where the stock is trading in relation to its 50 day moving average then we will talk about then we will sorry uh, we'll talk about uh, we'll see the if the uh, where is the 200 day moving average for the stock the buyer demand the price strength like if you see our stock uh, our addition report we talk about the O'Neill methodology in which we talk about the our take on the uh, technicals so that is also very important and the basis also which you talk about comprises of the technical analysis so once you shortlist a stock a fundamentally good stock then you go and check the technicals because we all know that we will buy this stock only when it breaks out so that this breaking out will we can check this breakout from the charts and uh, and this breakout point is based on the price and volume action which is nothing but the technical analysis so that is why we say technicals and fundamentals both we have to check while shortlisting the stocks so what is the factor one in choosing a stock large earnings per share kindly uh, stop your videos and audios please it's distracting in between i request you to please uh, stop your videos so what is the number one factor in choosing a stock obviously eps because if the earnings is not there the company cannot cannot uh, give a return to its shareholders so earnings is the very important factor when you shortlist any stock and in fact in growth stocks earnings plays a very big role so our study of all the big winners since 1880 which almost comprises of the 27 market cycles shows exceptional eps growth rate is the sing single biggest driver of a stock's price is the single most uh, driver of a stock price so so eps growth is a very important factor and uh, in the next few slides we will see which or what should be the growth rate ideally what is the ideal growth rate and uh, what we look for when we talk about eps growth rate then we will talk about how make stock prove itself before we buy best stocks have normally outstanding eps growth before they make their biggest run we'll see with the help of few examples like uh, before the stock makes the big run then ne near the breakout point the uh, stock is either releasing their quarterly results or their annual results and the and uh, the earnings have been very good and then they actually breaks out of a in a strong volume and uh, stock uh, tends to run around 50 60% over the point over the time so we will uh, see some of the examples there 
and uh, then we'll check about like for the last the earnings growth for the last two quarters and also the growth rates earnings growth rate, rates for the last three years because it gives us a long term perspective so we need to check the three year as well as the recent quarters we'll cover it in details in next few of the slides Okay, so now the C and the A factor, A in CanSlim investing system. We always talk about CanSlim. So today it's the time that uh, we'll uh, tell you about the C and A factors in details. So C stands for the current earnings and A stands for the annual earnings. So with current earnings, we mean the latest quarter, the uh, right now say, for example, quarter two financial year 2018. So companies are uh, depicting their, uh, two, uh, are releasing their two, uh, quarter two results. And so this would be uh, called as the current earnings and the annual earnings is the earnings which was which which is the overall earnings for the year so a lot of companies in the month of july august they released their annual reports for 2016 17 those consist those, uh, those are called the annual earnings of the company so normally yeah, so normally we check the, uh, when we check the current earnings, we will be checking about the, uh, we will check the last two to three quarters and we check about the annual earnings. We normally see for the last three, four, five years earnings. So there should be an accelerating trend in the earnings and it, like it should not be like for the first, say for the first quarter company uh, posted a earnings growth of 25% for the second quarter, suddenly it is posting a 7% earnings growth. We don't want this to happen. What we want. Uh, the ideal cancelling stock would be a 20 to that 20 to 25 percent earnings growth in quarter one a quarter two should be around 30 percent 30 to 35 percent and quarter three should be say 40 percent so those kind of acceleration we want in current earnings same goes for the annual earnings the figure is 20 to 25 percent normally we want a 20 to 25 percent growth in earnings and again for annual earnings also it should be increasing so the what is the making of a super stock the standout check uh, stock needs both a, both a sound growth record in recent years and a strong current earnings record in the last several quarters. Because this is the most important, most powerful combination and uh, those kind of stocks have a higher chances of becoming a super stock. So as I just uh, discussed like 25% or higher EPS growth in, in the most recent quarter, this 25% is uh, in developed economy, in developing economy like India. We also consider some of the stocks which are uh, giving 18 to 20% uh, uh, growth rate. But then again, we have to check the story growth uh, drivers behind that. So uh, one more uh, thing I would like to make it clear that how do you compare this calculate this growth. So you should be comparing quarter or year over year. So that means that if you are comparing quarter to 2018, you should be checking the earnings of quarter to 2017. So that is called the compare to uh, same quarter from prior year. You should not compare quarter over quarter, but you should always be comparing the uh, year over year performance like uh, like as, as I just mentioned quarter to 2018 with quarter to 2017 and that should be 25% or higher uh, and uh, again some uh, based on some stock specific some company specific factors it could be 20% or 18% so the idea is the bigger the growth rate the better it is in the US market between 1952 to 2001 average EPS growth of 600 top perform performers in the latest reported quarter was 70% and it is based on an empirical research. So the biggest winners show the show an EPS growth of 100 to 500% or more. So normally in Indian market, it's, it's, uh, it's very difficult and rare to find such kind of stocks which are giving you 500% and 200, 300% quarter over quarter as well as year over year. So uh so accordingly we will uh, uh discount this and but then again we are looking for something above 20 25 percent 30 percent this is the number which we are looking for in even in uh, developing emerging economies
so current earnings uh, we spoke about we spoke about the annual earnings and the current so the, so the current it, it is the same for the current earnings as well as the annual earnings the growth rate you we will be comparing if you are comparing the annual earnings from 2016 if you say if you are checking the earnings for 2016-17 you should be comparing it with 15-16 So this is a, uh, it see this is a, okay. So only one to two percent of publicly traded stocks uh, show earnings growth of this size. So it's uh, quite normal that this is the reason only one to two percent of the uh, stocks in the universe gives you those kind of uh, becomes a multi bagger stock because only uh, and it's also difficult to find identify those one to two percent of the stock. But you don't have to worry. This markets with India apps. Uh, will help you in filtering out all the good quality cancelling stocks and you just have to be diligent in following this uh, our follow, following our app as following our app and the recommendations when we add any stock in our model portfolio so now we'll talk about the c factor which is the current earnings Again, we talk about the accelerating uh, uh, quarterly earnings growth. So I already covered this uh, slide. So say in quarter one, you see a profit uh, growth of EPS growth of 10%. So in quarter two, it should be 24%, three, it should be 50% and four, it should be 72%. So it should be, there should be an accelerating trend and it should not be like here it is 10%, then 24% and suddenly it is uh, uh, say 12 to 13% here and again 70, 80% here. This, the, so this is uh, undesirable and we will uh, try to avoid this kind of stocks and moreover if the and one more thing to uh, check over here is if for the if you are checking quarterly earnings for the last seven eight quarters and in between you see two uh, quarters which are odd so you should be checking the reasons for that because say for now if you are evaluating any stock because of demonetization you might see some of the stocks just uh, the quarter which ended demonetization and gst some earnings might be subdued. So you have to consider those kind of things. Like say for example, one of the stocks is Sundaram Fastness, where if you see the uh, quarterly earnings post demonetization in GST, the earnings were subdued. But then again, uh, the earnings are yet to, uh, the quarter two earnings are about to be released and let's hope for the best. Like uh, uh, if the company uh, reports a good quarter, because if you see the, past for Sundaram Fastness, the company has consistently given good growth and as in quarters as well as annually. So those kind of things we need to consider while we are, while we are evaluating any stock. Uh, one of the common mistakes which investors does is they uh, go for turnaround stories. But then when again, when you are going for the turn, turnaround stories, then also you should not just uh, buy the stock because uh, if its earnings are very low because earnings are very important just imagine if company is not having any surplus uh, how will they give it back to the shareholders so in annual earnings also we look for a 25 percent to 50 percent or higher eps growth rate over the last three years we are talking about cagr over here the compounded average growth rate should be more than 25 to 50 percent for the last like over the last three years because from 1980 to 2000 me, me, median annual earnings growth rate for big winners early in their price move was 36 percent so the, it has been this figure this 36 percent is based on an empirical research and uh, based on that, it, this, it says that normally the big winners were having a three years, four years CAGR of around 36%. So again, uh, it's all relative. Like it's not like say for a, in a particular industry group, you see just one company having some extraordinary earnings and the other companies which are almost relatively same, but then they are not having those kind of earnings. So, you know, uh, that is uh, that is where you should actually dig in further for that in that particular stock and check what's the reason for that extra ordinary or super normal growth for that particular company. So this is how you where you can use our MarketSmith India app and check the uh, numbers. So this is an example of KEI Industries. 
so when you are checking one uh, stock say if you are checking ka industries in electrical power equipment it's important you check some other industries as well like kec in this range and even salasar technologies they are relatively in the same business so you should be checking uh, the earnings growth if it is if you can relate those if there is some uh, consist if there is a match in that then only you should uh, think about uh, buying or shortlisting those stocks because sometimes there are several reasons why all the stocks like if if a particular industry is having eight to 10 stocks and only one is doing good and other nine is not able to do good then you should not like you know you it's uh, there is a high chance you might select a wrong stock so those stocks uh, once you invest in those stocks ultimately you see the stock is not doing any good and your capital is blocked so it's very important to check that also I request everyone not to write on or annotate in the uh, slides, please. So here we talk about the page industries. So page industries in June 2012 quarter reported a EBS growth of 18%. In September, it reported a, a growth of 21%. Then in again in for the December quarter, twenty eight percent. March quarter, thirty eight percent. So this is what we look for uh, an accelerating trend. This was there, and surprisingly, you will see that uh, just this was the point after March thirteen, the stock broke out, and uh, the stock gave a huge recent, huge uh, gain after that. And the three year CAGR EPS growth rate was also forty two percent. Let's see the chart. so this is after the after that 28 to 38% this is where the stock broke out and the stock actually ran for a, for around 1523% in the over the next 5 years so for identifying these stocks we have to make sure we are following the proper cancellation method the proper c the proper growth rate we are identifying the gro growth rate and uh, the c and a and we are also um, we are following the fd each and every factors very uh, religiously so this is very important for identifying a multi bagger stock so this is another example of iker motors in december 12 company for the for december 2012 the company reported a negative eps growth march there was some improvement a negative 11% then again in june a 21% growth September 13, 63% growth. The three year, the three year CAGR was very important, 57%. So maybe if you are finding this, these kind of data, it's very important to see why it was a 15% negative, 11% negative, and suddenly why 21% positive. There may have been some uh, macroeconomic factors why the earnings were subdued during this time. So it's important to check those while you are shortlisting the stock. So uh, again. This September 13, June 13. This is where the stock broke out. This uh, fund, this this actually gave the fundamental strength strength to the stock, and investors went ahead and started purchasing the stock there. So this is the breakout, and this is the rally for the stock. The stock almost gave 487 percent in 94 weeks, and we are all aware of this. Uh, stock the in during 2013 14 to 2017 the stock has been a multi bagger and even now it is doing good another example of granules india the eps growth before breakout and after breakout so the EPS was in Ma in March 13 quarter, the EPS was negative 24%. Then again, it grew to 132%. Then again, uh, 85%. So normally it has been seen that if, say, if a negative EPS growth is there and suddenly uh, the EPS surges to say a three-digit growth, 
there might be some turnaround story or some changes in the management or some change in technology or a new product has been introduced all those things will normally give will turn around the growth the rate for the company so this is very important to check so this depicts a strong eps growth so let's see the stock broke out here this was the buy point the stock went ahead to give a 963% return in almost 2 years so to identify those stocks it's important to check the see the current earnings the annual earnings the growth why the stock is growing what is the reason and even the exceptional or extraordinary items abnormal items all those things you have to check when you are uh, buying any stock normally in in the company's balance sheet or in the and the in the financial statements it will be mentioned very clearly what are the uh, extraordinary items or uh, items which which are the one off items so what is the winning combination outstanding earnings and sales growth sales if the if the sales is growing automatically the earnings will come so one example is like the company can uh, increase their sales by taking debt by doing some expansion a uh, company might a uh, retail in a retail sector companies might open new stores and they might spend using the debt but then it will uh, hurt their bottom line because the company will have to pay the interest on the debt they are borrowing so but then uh, a lot of investors seeing this they don't go for that stock thinking that the company is having a huge debt so first of all we should uh, make it very clear if the company is taking some debt they have a clear cut capital expenditure plan uh, in place so they are uh, their cash flow and all the projections they have done for the next 5 to 10 years they know how how they are going to repay the debt and how much they are going to benefit from all those expenses so always debt is not a bad thing if the company the debt is increasing for the company it is not a bad thing always but then yes the debt do uh, hit the bottom line that is the eps so we should also we should check for it is basically industry specific if you see the capital intensive industries and all those the debt will be higher normally because those companies run in debts if you see companies like bharat electronics and uh, the debt is huge but then again we need to see will we need to see that uh, how the company is uh, uh, using that debt and uh, what are their uh, plans so companies can cut cut costs to drive earnings for a few quarters but sustainable earnings growth requires a good increase in sales so normally eba the and the, if you see the structure of the financial statements so there are two ways to increase the profits one is you increase the sales the other one is you can cut the cost so operating efficiency and cutting the cost all those we uh, we cal we calculate the ebitda ebitda margin and all those things so uh to a extent you cannot grow your company just by cutting cost you have to increase your sales because if you are not able to increase the sales that means the the company's product people are not liking the product so over over a long run you know that those kind of companies actually if the people are not liking the product you uh, like if you see for example if you see the tata motors in commercial vehicles and if you compare it with maruti tata and uh, when you compare with the uh sorry i have, i got it wrong here so uh, we are comparing tata motors in the passenger by passenger segment and uh, with the maruti and again the in the commercial sector so tata is not a big hit if their hatchbacks and suvs are not uh, that great if you compare with the maruti people are not liking people prefer maruti suzuki over tata motors but then again when it come to commercial vehicles heavy heavy vehicles like trucks and buses golf uh, and uh, he, like heavy heavy vehicles companies uh, the customers prefer tata motors so that is the reason. so these kind of things we have to see if the company is uh, growing just by cutting the cost or by increasing the sales so the checklist is what to look for 25% or higher sales growth in the latest quarter or at least an acceleration in sales growth over the last 3 quarters so say for example like demonet post demonetization you might not see this 25% figure for most of the companies but then again if it is increasing and just for a demonetization this is uh, in a single digit or even negative you you can actually think about uh, you can give it a consideration another example of page industries we all know page industries the jockey brand famous jockey brand so the big earnings and sales growth before breakout 
this company again in june 2012 quarter 18% growth rate increased to 21% 28% 38% and accelerating trend is there and even in sales the trend is uh, like from 26% to 24% though it was uh, it was down by 2% yet there might be some macroeconomic data in the macroeconomic factors for that we need to check that so this accelerating sales growth is there and even eps is uh, eps was accelerating so let's see what happened after that there was a breakout over here when the quarterly earnings were up by 38% and the sales were up by 37%. The stock went on to give 523% in almost uh, in around 283 weeks. So, and uh, so for identifying these stocks, we need to check the earnings and the sales growth because if sales is not there, company cannot turn it into the earnings. And if earnings is not there, company cannot repay back to the shareholder. Simple as that. The equation is very simple. For the returning on the equity, for, for calculating the return on equity, there should be earnings. Again, an example of Granules India, the earnings were negative from 24% to 132% and then 85%. But if you see the sales growth from 9% to 21%, 21% to 52%. So sales growth and accelerating and powerful sales growth with an equally powerful earnings growth. Again, this was the breakout point when the earnings were reported. Uh, the earnings were up by 85% and the sales were up by 52%. Granule, Granules India went up to gain 963% in almost 104 weeks. Uh, there is another example of Rajesh export. So these are, this is an example of a turnaround story where uh, the earnings was negative 30% and then again 47%. It grew to 9%, 59%, 87%. There have been, there was some uh, change in the business model, some change in the technology for this company. Uh, even the government's, uh, even government's scheme for export was favorable at that particular point of time. The company sales increased and, and to support this, the earnings also increased. And let's see what happened after that. A gain of around 298% over the, over just, Within it's less than a less than a year. So this is the breakout point. So normally this uh, normally we see when the earnings are out, earnings are released. People go and uh, the the, uh, the investors who are a firm believer of fundamentally good stocks, they go and buy the stocks when they are happy with the earnings. They the moment they buy the institutional investors pitch and they when they buy the stock rises on a high volume and uh, it crosses the pivot range and this is the proper uh, buy point so now we'll talk about the pe ratios in normally in, if you read the most of the stock uh, addition report and most of the brokerage reports they will talk about the pe ratios the stock is trading at 20 times p 30 30 times p so normally the price earnings is the stocks mark, market price divided by the earnings. So this is how you calculate the PE. So a dollar fifty stock price divided by the dollar two EPS gives you a 25 PE ratio. So conventional wisdom says the stocks with a low PE are undervalued, undervalued and could be a bargain. So the investors who are with us for the last uh, six, seven months, they know why, uh, what is our method to method to invest in the market. We are growth investors. We look for stocks. We don't give much importance to PE because if you want something which is of good quality, you have to pay a higher price. Normally, PE is nothing but the price you pay for a stock. So, if I, so normally uh, investors tend to go for those stocks which are trading at a low PE, PE of 10, 12, 13. So those bargain, those undervalued stocks, you, so pro the problem is no one, the stock which is, of a low quality will be cheap. So people generally tend to accumulate those stocks and they want those low quality stocks to become a multi-bagger, which is very rarely which happens. And we, uh, a, norm, a lot of investors uh, observe that uh, after, uh, in, after staying invested for a year, two years, they are just getting a very 
nominal return or even at a losses i know people sitting at a losses of 20% 30% with the stocks for the last 2 to 3 years they are just uh, exhibiting some loss aversion bias regret aversion bias they are not selling their stock because they feel the moment they will sell the stock it might increase the problem is but the problem is they are hope they are resting their hope with those stocks which are already which have already disappointed them so why the conventional wisdom about pe ratios is not supported by the facts is our study of top performing stocks since 1880 shows which almost cover the 27 market cycles shows that pe ratio should not play an important factor in making buy decisions so instead of looking for a low pe ratios we should look for stocks with high eps growth rate and uh, accelerating eps growth rate. now this is a fact that leading stocks begin began their big runs with average pe of 36 so normally like if the average pe is of 36 and the industry pe is low people will not buy those stocks for example if you see avenue super supermarts when it was trading at around 800 levels that time also it was looking expensive a lot of people were not going for that stock because it was looking expensive but then again we all know what happened after that so something which is of good quality will be expensive and it goes uh, in with the stock market as well so if you wait for the stock to fall down the pe the it to if, if you feel the valuations are very high let's wait for the valuations to come down and then i'll buy the stock what you are hoping is you are anticipating the stock to fall you are if you just uh, uh, observe the chart in your mind you are ho hoping that the stock should make a downtrend somewhat a downtrend and then you will buy it when the stock is in the downtrend and what happens is you buy somewhat in the middle of the downtrend and the stock continues falling further and that's how you fall into the into the trap but what we say is we buy the stock somewhat when the stock is selling say if you observe a uh, uptrend we will buy somewhat in the middle of the uptrend and sell it at the at the end of the and try selling the stock at the end of the uptrend so this is our method of investing the canslim method of investing so few of the example uh, uh, examples like how pe ratios of selected winning stocks before their big runs aurobindo pharma had a pe ratio of 51 and bharti airtel 122 January 2018 till December 2015, and even in 2016, we all know uh, normally uh, normal investors' portfolio would comprise of Bharti Airtel, a leading te telecommunication stock in in the Indian market, a PE ratio of 122. So, if you are uh, into the into stock invest, if you would be investing during those period, you you knew if you want to uh, invest in telecommunication, you have to have have the Airtel. so stock actually went on to give 1500% returns and if you just if you if you were a pe guy you you would have definitely avoided this stock at 122 same goes for aurobindo pharma if you were a too if you were a firm believer of a uh, of a value investor you would never buy this stock at a pe at a pe of 51 but the result is even someone who bought the stock at a pe of 51 went on to gain 313% over the next 2 years so the idea is the bottom line is you can't buy a mercedes for the price of a maruti or a chevrolet so the thing is that a car dealer or in the stock market both acts the same way something which is of good quality will cost you more and if you don't buy a growth stock when it is going up which means which the its pe will always be uh, comparatively higher compared to the value stocks you will miss the big best investments So uh, now we'll talk about how you can find the best growth stocks using our Market Smith app. So there are some of the features like uh, EPS rating. So EPS rating, like if you see the EPS rating, it talks. It it will there will be a number mentioned like ninety ninety five. So I would like to tell you it's higher the better. So if you are finding a ninety nine EPS stock and if you are seeing a ninety five, so ninety nine is better than the ninety five. So it says that uh, say an EPS uh, rating of ninety five. says that this particular stock is better than 95% of the stocks trading in the indian market uh then you have a feature called evaluation tab you should make the best use of this feature in which you will get all the important data about the stock in at just one place you don't have to go and check uh, several uh, stocks uh, companies balance sheet financial statements nothing you will just get everything in the evaluation tab and uh, just 
with the evaluation tab you will also get the charts on the right hand side you will also get the chart of that stock so on a, in a single screen you get the technical as well as the fundamental analysis you get the both and uh, you can easily uh, for check the technical and fundamental strength of the stock then you have the market smith india stock list the stock list the idea list is there uh, which can there we have two idea lists right now one is the ind 47 list the other one is the market smith india port portfolio so uh, the ind 47 list is the algo chart it's uh, generated by the computers there is no human interference in, in that so a lot of investors make a mistake like they just see the stocks in the ind 47 and they just buy it uh, without any further research so i would like to make a point very clear that ind 47 stocks are the stocks which should be in your watch list you should not blindly buy them the those stocks are meant to be buy when the stock breaks out from a sound base pattern the moment it breaks out and also if it is recommended by us normally we uh, check the the model portfolio which you see the idea is that is uh, the stocks there are hand picked by the research team after extensive research we check for the company specific growth drivers industry specific growth drivers and then we recommend the stock so normally ind 47 stock should be there in your watch list and the recommendations which you get through the push notifications and the email you should you should be taking positions in those stocks and then you have the user list on the Marketsmith India app. So this is this slide talk about the EPS rating in details. The fast way to see the strength of the stock's EPS growth. What EPS rating measures is compares the two most recent quarters of EPS growth to same quarters in prior year. So I, I was just mentioning that if you are checking quarter 2 FI 2018, you should be checking it with quarter 2 FI 2017. So this EPS uh, rating, which is there, it does all the hard work for you. So you just have to see and uh, and uh, you have to see this rating and uh, take the decision. It's like examines the earnings growth rate of over the last three years. It also considers the annual and uh, recent quarter earnings. And it also compares the result to all the other stocks. So normally, as I just mentioned, a 99 or a 95 rating means the company outperformed 99% of all the stocks in both annual and recent quarterly earnings. So the idea is you should be looking for EPS rating of 80 or higher because and uh, most of the big winners which we have observed have a EPS rating of 90 or higher before it further uh, it before uh, it further uh, moves up and where you can find this EPS rating in market smith india app tool version evaluation tab in the evaluation tab you will find the market smith india EPS rating so this is the EPS strength So uh, the canceling checklist, how you can use the checklist and related thing. So this is the related tab. I was mentioning that if you are finding a stock which is uh, showing some exceptional return over the last few quarters and other stocks are not showing that, uh, the other stocks in that particular sectors are not showing that kind of growth, then you might have selected a wrong stock. So the best way to check is you should see the related stocks over, over here, which will give you the all, all the uh, tier group, the like for the Icon Motors, the Force Motors, TBS Motor, everything you will get it here. And then you have a checklist, which in in short give you a the total number of uh, uh, criteria the stock has passed. So this is the industry group rank. It is the lower the better. So industry group rank one is the best, and uh, say ninety nine or hundred is the worst. So you should check is your stock the group leader because normally the industry which is doing good the top performing industry will in a in a bull market will do will outperform all the other sectors and you we have to select the stocks which are there in the top top group top sectors the leaders from the top industry group is what we have to select then again this is the idea list if you click on this you get the india premier stock ideas and the india model portfolio market smith reports system provided user list all those things you get so our stock uh, list alerts alerts you with companies with exceptional earnings and growth and uh, make sure you regularly check this because ind 47 is updated it's uh, updated on every monday 
so this is an important tab stocks near buy point so those are the stocks which are near buy point and which are close to break out it if if there is some strong price action volume the stock will break the stock might break out and once the stock breaks out then you can take the position in that stock in those stocks this is the user list where you can help you where you can create your own filter and where you can create your own filter and uh, find the stocks of your own choice so the key points from for, from today's webinar is like what is the why is eps very important and uh, annual earnings is very important why is the sales very important why quarterly earnings are very important why these are the number one factor and the first thing with you should be checking while shortlisting a stock then we have the best stocks have uh, superior earnings and sales growth because we have seen with the help of many examples and uh, even the users which are who are with us for the last uh, few uh, like few months and over the year that the stocks which we add normally uh, displays a strong sales and earnings growth and uh, those are the stocks which are doing good in our portfolio the third we spoke about why a low pe if you just go with the stocks at a low pe you might you will it's not you might you will definitely miss the biggest winners because the growth stocks the stocks normally trade at a pe ratio of 36 or higher based on the empirical research so you should not just go for the low pe ratios pe stocks and just avoid good quality stocks because it is trading at a high pe then we spoke about how market smith uh, ebs rating is the quickest way to compare a stocks recent and annual eps growth and also the you can just do the technical and fundamental analysis at in the one in the one app together you don't have to go and check it in the company company's website and other apps while checking the eps rating look for rating of 80 and uh, or higher so uh, don't settle for low quality stocks because normally only 1 to 2% will meet the can slim minimums but those that do often become tomorrow's winner we all know like uh, of out of the entire universe of the stocks in indian market only few stocks are there which becomes multi baggers so those are the proper can slim stocks and it's important to uh, identify those stocks and we it, it might happen that you shortlisted five six stocks you went ahead to do the fundamental and technical analysis and at the last point you find that it's not meeting all the canceling criteria and you have to drop the ideas don't get frustrated because oh, we it takes time to identify a good stock and uh, our markets with india app will definitely help you in identifying and shortlisting those stocks so in the next webinar we'll be covering the components of winning stocks big return on equity and pre tax margin so there we'll talk about the company's return on equity uh return on equity is is one of the most important criteria in shortlisting the stocks but it it uh, gives you a direct relation like how much company is returning you uh, returning to the shareholders for the rupee shareholders invest in the company and then we'll talk about how profit margins vary between different industry for a manufacturing company 8 to 12% margin and for the capital goods uh, industry the margins will differ it will not be the same and Uh, how you can uh, uh, compare the margins in that case so we are also available in market smith uh, india app as uh, our market smith india app is also available as an android ios and web app you can just uh, download it uh, as per your uh, so android as per your mobile ios operating system so that's all for the to for from today's webinar now we will take the queries uh i have a query from mr mukesh ideal uh, earning before earnings before interest and taxes ratio of any company it depends it uh, depends between different sectors and uh, in our next webinar we will actually compare we'll talk about the margins how the margins differ between different companies and there we might discuss a few things about ebit and ebitda uh, uh we have a query from mr sogata that uh, please share the earlier webinar also you will get those webinars in youtube so we request you to send this uh, uh, request for using the ask market smith 
tab and our marketing team will share the videos link with you mr ishan you will get the you will uh, get the video from you will get the link of this video if you just raise the request to our um, uh, marketing team yeah we have a query from mr lavneet that uh, uh, eps growth formulas of 25% is it for all caps small mid and large so like normally uh, if you talk about uh, if you just uh, if you have been following i know you have been following our app for the for the past few months so you would have observed that most of the stocks we add is from mid cap and small caps because it's very uh, in blue chip companies and in growth all the stocks which have already uh, grow 25% growth is very difficult to gain and that is the reason if you see the chart of itc for example for the last uh, four years it has been almost flat so if you want to earn good returns it's important to go for uh, mid caps and large caps and 25% ideally you would get in mid caps and large caps companies yeah for uh, we have a query from mr darshan shah that uh, for uh, the companies having 25% growth rate but they are having debts as well for financial companies and banks they will have a debt so their business is lending and borrowing so we need for so for those companies it's pretty okay to have a debt uh, yeah we received a query that uh, as courts why it is not added day before yesterday when it broke out yeah exactly the stock broke out yesterday on high volumes but the reason why we didn't add it because today the stock was about to release their quarterly earnings and the stock had a reported as solid earnings it was 150% off up the eps road but then again the stock closed below pivot today if it would have been if it would have closed in in the pivot range in the buy range we would have definitely added it today okay so we have a query from mr kunal that companies the, there is major differences between standalone and consolidated you we, we will always go for consolidated consolidated eps because standalone eps because standalone figures are easy to manipulate as in uh, not manipulated by the company but then you might uh, easily uh, take a wrong decision based on standalone uh, eps so it's important to check the consolidated eps and if the companies who are not reporting the consolidated uh, figures normally most of the companies does but in that case if you are getting a standalone you check the standalone because normally all the investors are also calculating eps based on a standalone figures so their decisions is also based on that uh, we have a query from mr pravin reddy what are the various industry pe ratios it depends uh, pe depends uh, like uh, uh, from industry to industry normally retail sectors will have a high pe and then uh, like even bankings will have a p of around between so all those uh, it's it, it varies from industry to industry and in our next webinar we'll talk about different industries uh we um, we have a query from mr hari kishan that is the breakout pattern provided for all the stocks or only for the stocks in the market smith india portfolio we cover uh, it, it's provided for all the stocks uh, we have uh, yeah mr lavneet uh, not uh, it doesn't mean that all the multi baggers will be in the small cap in we have a lot of good stocks from mid caps as well as the small caps which have done really good over the last few years but there are high chances of multi baggers being from mid caps and small caps it doesn't mean that we all know one companies like if i just say that multi baggers will, will be from the small cap and the mid cap i can just be counter argued by saying about maruti suzuki we all know maruti suzuki and it's even now it's a multi bagger stock if someone ki hold plans to hold it for the next 2 to 3 years it's a multi bagger stock so we have we are receiving few stock specific queries so uh, due to time constraint we will not be able to reply the stock specific query right now we request you to raise this uh, using the ask market smith india tab and we will reply through the email 
and even for the trials and all and the subscription it's uh, please raise the uh, request to using the ask market smith tab and our concerned department will contact you for that we uh, for we uh, mr ishan arora if you want to learn intraday trading we don't give intraday calls we are uh, we mostly give the investment related calls so for intraday you can look for some other uh, uh, some other app we have a query from mr said that where to find the ebit of a company normally we have to calculate that ebit of a company ebitda margins and everything we have to calculate calculate so it's just the net profit and you add back the interest and taxes you get your ebit and if you add back the depreciation you get the ebitda we have a query from mr amit that will a multi bagger have several buy points uh, normally multi bagger stocks will give you a lot of entry points yeah because uh, what happens is like in indian markets when the stock rallies for 20 25% there will be some consolidation it will make a base then again the stock will break out so during that time if you have done a proper research you might get a entry point and you might add the stock uh there is a question from mr rajiv that please try to add ascending triangle descending triangle pattern double and triple bottom so all those we have a lot of uh, other base patterns but that is covered in the in the advanced webinar and seminars for the advanced webinar and seminar if you want to uh, uh, join that seminars you raise the request to the in markets with india tab we have those seminars the appropriate department will contact you with that yeah we have a query from mr sushil gupta uh, where uh, uh, that that we generally view stocks on cnbc 18 that raises 100% returns in year in year 2017 so i would like to just add two things over here first of all hg when you're talking about hg the stocks just if you just consider the today's webinars the topic for the today's webinar if you see hg it is it is not meeting the c and the a criteria and as far as uh, as far as i know about hcc it is it's a very volatile stock you might may the stock might have given you some 15 20% returns because all the uh, carbon black and graphite stocks were doing good but then again those kind of stocks have a very high volatility and over the day you might see that even it might hit your 8% the other day you buy those stocks so this is not the not a fundamentally good stock and the uh it is not the proper cancellum stock so we don't cover those stocks and hint side it's easy to say that those stocks have a return of 100% in 7 8 months but then the fact is uh, what have what uh, traditional traditionally what has done well for our, for us as well as the users with our who are with us for the last one year the proper cancellum stock is what which is less very less volatile comparatively and we also have this 8% stop loss rule so we stick stick to that the roe should not be less than 17 but it should be more than 17 the return on equity is nothing but in simple language it's the return which you get from the company when you are investing in a stock market you are you are employing capital you are providing capital to the company to conduct its business so the return companies the the com the return which the company is able to generate using your capital that is your that is the return on equity so uh, the higher it is better uh we have a query from mr for from qcom that market is trading in trading in overbought zone what should be our strategy for coming days so today like yesterday and uh, for the last two days the sensex has dropped almost four distribution days three distribution days and nifty is currently having the distribution day count of 2 so it's it gives us some gives gives us some strong uh, some strong bullish signal about the market and uh, we remain uh, 
positive because the market status is on confirmed uptrend and as and when the stocks breaks out from sound base pattern we will keep on adding those stocks and even after this recapitalization plan uh, announced by the government if you would have read our last weekly learning article there also we have mentioned now like uh, with psu banks also coming the valuations for psu banks have uh, actually improved and uh, even foreign institutional investors are in the outlook of uh, investing into the markets and retail retail investing has also increased in indian markets so uh, will uh, so we end today's webinar here we hope it was an informative session for all of you and for all the queries which we are not able to take now we request you to ask in the market smith india tab the query tab and we will get back to you via um, email or through the phone call thanks for joining uh, this webinar have a wonderful evening